So today is Friday and I'm with Blake. Uh, Blake, how did you sleep last night? I slept good. Feeling better? Yes. You look a little bit better. You look more alert. Even your voice sounds better. I can sound, I can hear you better uh, after you sleep. That's what I've noticed. Uh, I went to grab you some food um, uh, from the donations that people send over, some food, something to drink. Uh, you're starting to eat solid food a little bit more, right, than last week. So that's that's good, that's an improvement. Um, and uh, and uh, I think it's because you're resting, you're out of the heat, you're in air conditioning, you're showering, uh, you're sleeping on a comfortable bed, something you haven't slept on in months. Right, so I think all that combination is, is, is allowing you to f your body to recuperate, right? Re rehabilitate itself a little bit, okay? So um, are you feeling a little bit tired right now too? A little bit, a little bit. A little bit, okay. It's like a nap, Okay, it's almost nap time. Um, so this will be, um, this will be, tonight will be your fourth night in the hotel room. Uh, Quinn, one of my subscribers, a friend of mine, she was kind enough to get you a, a room tonight for a fourth night. And uh, so thank you, Quinn. Thank you. Um, that was very nice of her. And I appreciate all the other uh, donations from all the other subscribers, you know, $5 here, $10 here, $20 here. So that uh, I also went to get you uh, uh, some shorts, some shirts, you know, just so you have a little bit more um, uh, clothing for you, okay? Um, so that, that's all donations. It's just people love you. They, they care about you. Uh, Blake's Life Matters, BLM, right? It's all about you, dude, okay? You need to know that you're worth a lot. We care about you and people are thinking about you. Also here in the room is uh, Blake's boyfriend. Uh, he doesn't want to be on camera, but I appreciate him being here. Uh, by your side to try to help you out a little bit. Yeah. Um, uh, he says he doesn't want so, to be on camera and that's okay. We'll respect that. Uh, but again, I do appreciate him uh, being by your side. Uh, he's tending to you, uh, kind of helping you with uh, uh, whatever you need, right? So um, uh, how, how do you feel? Uh, how, do you, how do you see him from like last week? Do you see any improvement at yeah. all? Yeah, he's better. He's much better. He's getting his rest and stuff. Be on the streets, yeah, yeah, definitely, absolutely. And, um, and how do you feel about the Lost in Phoenix community kind of rallying around Blake to get him a room, get him some food, some clothing, let him know that people care about him? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Mm, I appreciate everybody helping him out, you know, because he needs it. And I want to stay, just don't give up on him. You know, don't give up. You ain't gonna give up. I ain't gonna give up. So, okay. Cool. How long have you guys been together, bro? Two years. Two years. Yeah. And um, ultimately, uh, you want. Ultimately, I think you. We were talking earlier. You want to see him healthier, just like I wanted to see him healthier, right? Just like the Lost in Phoenix community wants to see him healthier. Because obviously right now, anybody can tell that he's unhealthy. He has underlying medical conditions um, and we're trying to help him as best as we can, right? With rest, a room, get out of the heat. Tomorrow it's gonna be 113 degrees, right? And so, um, and so it's important for him to be out of the elements, right? Out of the heat, so give himself an opportunity to uh, you know, rehabilitate. So, like, what are you hoping for? And you know, as far as uh, Blake's future, what what do you what do you think? What do you hope for him? I just hope he gets better. Right. So, uh, if he can get whatever he has to get taken care of, taken care of. Yeah. Absolutely, uh, Blake. So. Um, We'll try to get you a room for tomorrow night as well, okay? Um, every day, we're just taking it day by day to see how you're feeling, how, you know, kind of what's going on every day, just checking up on you, making sure you're feeling good and and the room is, is helping you, right? Cool. So uh, I'll, I'll be checking on you probably later today. Cool. Um, uh, Quinn, Quinn also asked me if, you were okay with her 
um, uh, if you were okay with her um, bringing some homemade food so that you can enjoy, would you would you be okay with that? Yes. Okay. You'll try it. You'll try her cooking. You'll see if it's thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> I'm sure it's thumbs up. I've never tasted her food, but I'm sure I'm sure it's great, right? Anybody that's willing to make a home cooked meal for you, we have to definitely appreciate that and applaud her efforts, right? So Quinn's amazing, just like all the other subscribers and the donors that are out there that want your best interest at heart, which is to get better. Okay. What, um, if anybody else wanted to, uh, meet you in person, would you be open to that? Uh, yes. Just, just to give you well wishes, kind of let you know that they're praying for you and thinking about you. Would you be open to that as well? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be able to say to him about me a little bit. Okay. Well, that's good to know for anybody that wants to see him, meet him, pray for him in person. Just reach out to me and we'll see what we can arrange. Um, any any uh, last comments from you, brother? Like, uh, uh, I know I met you a couple times and... Um, you know, we've, we've discussed how we can combine forces and really help Blake as much as possible. Uh, uh, and because ultimately that's the goal, dude, that, you know, just to see him better. Uh, he's 20 years old, right? And uh, and he's not looking, not looking good. He's looking a lot better than last week, that's for sure, right? Last Thursday, I ran into him. He, that, it, was, he was looking really bad, a total mess. And now, uh, so last week, Blake, you could only drink insurers, right? You could only drink insurers. You couldn't even drink water, dude. Remember, there was like a day that you couldn't even drink water. That's how bad your throat was, right? So, uh, but now you're improving. Eventually, hopefully, Blake, very soon, the plan is, Blake, for you to allow me and Lost in Phoenix community, your boyfriend, to take you to get uh, uh, just checked out, okay? Just to get checked out uh, soon, whether that's a hospital, just to get go check your vitals, go check your throat. Tonsils. Yep. Taking out. Your ton you think he needs his tonsils removed? Yeah. You think they're infected or what? There's something. He definitely has to get his uh, tonsils taken out. Just like an obstruction back there? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so whatever the issue is with your tonsils, Blake, you know, we want to get those checked out because uh, one thing that I noticed is that when you um, were sleeping last night, you know, it was really hard for you to breathe, yeah. you know, and that's really, really scary. Uh, your body is struggling to, uh, to uh, bring in air and we know that air is vital, right? Especially with your underlying medical issues. So um, we need to make sure what's going on, what's a, 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 what's a blocking in the back of your throat, okay? Whether it's tonsils or an infection, maybe something as simple as some pills, some uh, antibiotics can help you, okay? So, um, anything else that you'd like to say? Anything you want to tell the Los and Phoenix community? I just want to say uh, thank you, and I appreciate every, everybody's help to help you know, and um, doing my best hands you know? Yeah. Yeah. Do you love him? Yeah, I love him. I love him. Of course I love him. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here by his side. Yeah. Blake, do you love your boyfriend? Yeah. yeah. Do you appreciate him being by your side? Yes. So do, do you think he has your best interest at heart? Yes. Do you think uh, me and the Lost in Phoenix community have your best interest at heart? Yes. Do you think you'll allow me and your boyfriend to seek medical treatment very soon? Not today, but very soon, you think? Yeah, I think that's possible. It's a possibility? Yeah. Okay. Before it gets too late. Before it gets too late, brother. Okay? Cool. Before it gets too late. Because we want you to uh, live a, a fruitful uh, life and give yourself an opportunity. Okay, Blake? Cool. So I'm going to say thank you very much, Blake, for talking to me. Thank you for uh, uh, allowing the Lost in Phoenix community to uh, reach out to you and show you love. Okay? By donating, getting you room, clothing, food, all the necessities that you need just to give you an opportunity 
for another day. Even another day. Don't need hygiene for him? No. Yeah, hygiene. Yep. A excellent. Yeah, go grab go grab grab you some hygiene as well, okay? Um and I wanna thank you, uh, uh Blake's boyfriend for uh being by his side. Okay. It's not possible for me to be here with him twenty four seven. You know, I can't do that. Uh I can only do what I can do. Uh but all of us combined together, we can help him, okay? Yeah. So thank you, everybody. Thank everybody has has been donating. Thank you uh, for all your help. And we'll continue to check on Blake and give him love, show him support, and let him know that he matters so that he can continue to fight every day to get better, okay? So thank you, Blake. Thank you.